And if somebody's coming after my kids, I'm coming after them no matter what. Social media has introduced a new set of challenges for schools, parents, and law enforcement. A recent uptick in school threats posted on social media platforms has forced quick and decisive action. What may seem like a harmless prank can escalate into serious consequences. Our Audrey L. Tackett took a closer look at what happens behind the scenes when an online threat is made and the possible consequences that follow. For school resource officers like Deputy David Gomez, looking into these threats has become more of a common occurrence. Investigations can be done in a matter of hours after an online threat, and it's not a task taken lightly. It starts with a simple screenshot. Students or parents who see a threat posted on social media are encouraged to take a photo of it and share with law enforcement. From there, an investigation begins. We are definitely seeing an uptick in social media threats because it's a way to get notoriety, it's a, a way to get viral, it's a way to get attention. And when kids have a cell phone in their hands all the time, they start to be groomed and get addicted to having attention. Deputy David Gomez is a social media expert. He says parents, school administrators, law enforcement, and media outlets are immediately alerted, sometimes nationwide. Decisions can go into effect immediately about school cancellations. Law enforcement traces IP addresses to find anonymous profiles and get search and seizure warrants for the adult or child responsible. And if necessary, take them into custody. So any child is susceptible to making threats. And so, you know, a lot of parents will look at their kid and my kid would never make a threat. But what you don't understand is if they're spending so much time on social media every day, they might get it a dare from somebody that they like to make a social media threat. They might just say, hey, I don't want to go to school tomorrow, so they'll make a social media threat. Deputy Gomez urges all parents to communicate well and communicate often with their children. Kids of all ages should understand the severity of threats and the life-changing consequences that are guaranteed to follow. Yeah, if you make a threat and the police come to your house, it's going to change your future almost forever. And I know some very young students who are never allowed to go to school again. For young internet users, social media can seem like a false reality, but the repercussions are detrimental when threats are made by people of any age. Deputy Gomez commends West Ada School District for limiting screen time with their no phone policy. He says additional steps could be monitoring Chromebooks or other internet sources at schools to get more children spending time offline. Well, it's an unfortunate downside of living in our increasingly online world. Thank you, Audrey.